Hey guys, time for another YouTube video. So this one is a uh, video about mods to my GR and these are unique because the car is so new. Nobody's done these mods. So stay tuned. Okay, how to heaven fans. So today's video is going to be on modifying the GR Corolla. I'm going to get rid of some of those uh, dislikes that were in my other video. Uh, I'm going to start with ambient lighting. Okay, so this right here is a little kit that I ordered off of eBay. And um, these in this kit right here are door cup lights. So they're LED lights that go in your door handles, in the door cups, and they plug and play. They have all that on there. They're kind of a pain to install, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. All right, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the door, and you're going to remove a couple of, of these uh, covers here, the cup. And there are no screws, so you're just going to remove the cup, and then you're going to remove the uh, switch the switch panel that goes right in there. So I'll show you how to do it real quick here. So you're gonna take your little trim removal tool and I'm trying to give you some light here. Uh, what I do is I lift this open and you're gonna go right in here. There is a little plastic, let me see if I can get out of the way here. There's a little plastic piece right here and this is the door cup and you're gonna remove the door cup. So just pry. There you go, it snaps right out just like that. Um, and then for this, the switch panel, you can get it, the easiest place to pry is right here in the front. So you wanna just pry it up, and these all snap in place. So you wanna keep snapping all the way around the perimeter to the very back. Once you get that out, then you're going to push, there's a push on this plug right there, a little push, I don't know what you call it, a button. And I'm just doing this to get this out of my way so that I can get in here and work. Now, on the GR Corolla, there's no padding behind the door panel. On the 2022 XSE, where we previously installed the same kit, there is padding, so it makes it a little more difficult, but that car is a little, has a little more sound deadening to it. Um, so, next thing you're gonna do is fish the wires through. So the kit comes with uh, a trim removal tool. I am not a fan of this trim removal tool. I'd rather use this one. It's a Harbor Freight. It's in a five piece set, but I've had it for years and I really like it. So I'm gonna use that first. So the kit comes with all your plug and play wiring harnesses. And the only thing you need to know is that the wiring harnesses, there's three of them that are exactly the same and the driver's side door is slightly different. And I'm going to show you those uh, wires. So the one for the driver's side is this one. And you'll know because it's got the fat square on one side and then this on the other. All the others have the thin plug on both sides. So you have three with a thin plug. Those go in the other doors. This one is for the driver's side door. So those are the plug and play aspect of it. Then you've got the actual door cups themselves, and these are the illuminated door cups, and there are, these are handed, so you have the left hand and the right hand, driver's side and passenger side. So they're really easy to tell. You can see that that one there would be for the driver's side, and then you take this one here, and because it's flip-flop, that's going to be the passenger side. And then we've got... Um, this one here, also for the passenger side. And then this one here is for the driver's side. So they give you more than enough wire to get the job done. And we're just going to take this, unwind it. And then what I like to do is I like to get the kinks out of the wire. Uh, it just makes it easier to fish down into the door panel. Now, if you have, like I said, the XSE and Corolla hatchback, 
and you've got padding in here, you are probably gonna have to fish the wire through. Okay, so because there's no padding back there, you just simply put the wire right through the center and then you're just gonna push it straight down and it comes out like that. Once you've done that, you can now snap this piece in place and there you go, it's a definitive snap. Very nice look, looks factory, you can't even tell. So, at this point, we are now going to do the wiring. Now, this is the factory wiring, and what you're gonna do is, since we've disconnected this from the switch, you're just gonna simply plug in, and it only plugs in on one side, you're gonna plug in the factory wire, hear that snip, that little clip, and here is the aftermarket wire that we're working with. So this is the uh, wire that comes from the LED up top. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this, and they only go in one way. So you're just gonna put this in here, and you're going to, it's got some little rails there. So you go right in, push it in, and then you're in. Now, the only option, or option, the only uh, modification that I do is I use this um, tape. Now it's not electrical tape, I hate electrical tape. The only thing it's good for is fishing wires and it's barely even good, good enough for that. But this tape is called Tessa tape, okay? And now you can get this on, on Amazon and it's great stuff. And the reason you do use this stuff is because it's great for soundproofing. So what'll happen is um, your wires won't vibrate. So we're going to take a small piece of the Tessa tape and we're going to bend this over like that. And then I just put a piece right here, just a small piece to keep that from flopping around. Then I'm gonna put another piece of the Tessa tape on the other side and show you that as well. So, we're gonna take this piece and put it on the harness down below. And the whole point of using this tape is to just tighten up your wiring so it looks good. Now, I got the Tessa tape, um, again, I got it on Amazon, but I watch a lot of stereo videos and shout out to Five Car Stereo, uh, Dean and Fernando. Um, they told me about the Tessa tape. It's great stuff. I use it all the time now for every stereo, every electronic um, mod that I do. And so from this point here, you're just gonna take your switch, right here, your switch assembly, and you're just gonna push that in till it clicks. You're gonna take the other one, push that in till it clicks like that, okay? Then you're just gonna tuck the wires down under there, and you wanna make sure that you line these up before you start putting any pressure on it. And it's pretty easy. It snaps in place, you are done. And now what does that look like? Um, let me see if I can show you. There, that's it. It's all you get, a little extra ambient lighting. So we're gonna do that to every door. Next up, I'll do the back, driver's side, rear, and that's it. I won't do the other two on camera, but I'll show you the end results. So here is the Tessa tape, and it's spelled just like that, T-E-S-A. And it's a cloth tape, and it sticks to itself. It's, it's actually great stuff. Get yourself some. So let's get this one knocked out. Tight squeeze there. I'm gonna get in here. And again, what you do is you take your little door cup, your factory cup out first. And I just stick it in there by the door lock and pop it right out. There you go. Step one. Step two, um, we can just pull this up right from the cup holder. There we go. This comes out. And then we're going to push this little tab in right here with your thumb and pull this out, okay? So now we've got that out. We're ready for the light. Here's the light. So we are going to pull this out. And again, what I like to do is I like to take all the kinks out of the wire because it's very hard to fish it down if you've got kinks in the wire. So um, take a little time to get that straight and it'll make your life easier, okay? Now, 
right here on the center. We're going to use that hole. We're going to go straight down like this and feed it downwards. And then you just kind of jiggle it. You're hoping it comes out right around there. And so we're looking for it right down here. And there it is. And this was done in real time. So we're going to take this piece here. We're going to snap it in. Sometimes they snap in really easily. Other times they don't. And um, just take some playing around with it. But it will snap. Guaranteed. It will snap. There we go. That's in. All right. Next up, the wiring harness. And again, all three doors have this same uh, wiring harness. The one in the front has the thick one. So what we do is we plug in the factory wire right into our little jumper here. Then we're going to take this wire and we're going to plug it in right there. There we go. And from there, we are then going to use the Tessa tape again. And all it takes is two little pieces of Tessa tape. So, one. Put it right there. Just keep your wires clean. Believe it or not, wires can vibrate and make sounds as well. So you really don't want that. Get a second piece of Tessa tape. Just like that. And what I did was I formed a little loop here to take up some of the excess wire. And then we just wrap it around like that. Next up, we take the switch assembly, push it until it clicks, the nice satisfying clicking sound. There we go. We're gonna tuck the wires down in the hole, lining up these pins before you snap it in place. That's it, done. Two down, two to go. Very easy modification. Ambient lighting, I'll show you the results in the end. Okay, so what do we have? Ambient lighting for the GR Corolla. Let me show you what it looks like. You come in here and we are going to just put it in accessory mode. There you go. That is what Toyota should have done. Ambient lighting. And there's the final one. If you want to do this to your Corolla, you can do it to your regular Corolla or your GR Corolla. Unfortunately, as of this video, they only come in blue. I'm going to probably change those out to red LEDs. But it's a great $30 upgrade. Ambient lighting. That's a good mod. So here's a mod you've heard me talk about. But uh, really, really disappointed that Toyota did this. Now, I understand you don't want to put a spare tire in, but put the jack in, put the tools in. So there is my next mod right there. Jack, that's the jack handle that goes in there and it goes through here uh, on your lug nut wrench. Now, Toyota should have included this. They didn't. Now, there's not going to be very many gr tools out there unless you're buying them brand new i got this on ebay um little fyi same tools for the standard corolla hatchback so you want to make sure though that you have the appropriate um size lug nut wrench because you don't want to get one of these and find out that it's a different size anyway um i bought this on ebay when you do that Ask them not to mark it up. These uh, salvage yards love to use paint markers to identify it for warranty purposes and things like that. Just let them know 
Uh, you're not going to return it. You just want them not to mark it up so it doesn't look like your car is from a salvage yard. And FYI, 21 millimeter lugs on the GR Corolla. So let's get this baby installed. First thing we do is we lift up this cover and then you take your lug nut wrench and it goes right in there, just like that. There we go. Next up is your little tool for the jack. It goes in right there. So here we go. The hook goes there, the circle right there. This is more circular than that. And the jack goes right in here. Jack goes in upside down. And here's the jack. And the orientation is that the little lug goes to the passenger side to the right. And that's it. If it's like a glove, you got to do this mod. Okay. So we start by removing these screws. Let's see what's behind here. See what kind of handiwork the dealer did installing my plate. I really don't like advertising for the dealer. Even though Precision was a great experience buying a GR from them. And so here we go. Just make sure the vents are on the bottom. You put this on your license plate first. So I will do that. So you just peel the silicon around your plate and um, then it will give you full protection. It's kind of a pain though, getting the silicon to wrap. But I know a lot of you are probably saying, geez, you put a license plate on and you call that a mod? What kind of channel is this? Well, yeah, it is a mod and I'll show you why. Here we go, my mod. Yep, I consider that a modification.